Hello, my name is Dr. Phil Boyle, and I want to introduce you to the Neo Fertility app, your key to reliable fertility tracking. With the web browser on your phone, go to neofertilityapp.com and download the appropriate app for your own phone. When you download the app, then we ask you to learn the WWIT assessment routine. This is a particular technique that we recommend to help you to record your data in a routine, systematic fashion. We usually start with menstrual bleeding. So that is just below the WWIT assessment routine. Click on the appropriate tile. Your options are you can record spotting, light bleeding, medium flow or heavy flow. You can only start a new cycle with light, medium or heavy flow. If you have light or spotting, then it is essential for you to document the WIT assessment routine to complete your data entry. The app will show it is awaiting data entry and there is a red exclamation mark before the walking and wiping tiles. Walking sensation. Become aware of the vulva sensation noticed when walking during the day. The vulva is the outer part of the female genitals. Walking sensation. What do you notice while walking or moving during the day? Do you feel dry? Or do you notice a wet feeling when walking? Is there an obvious slippery feeling when walking? This is more typical for one day around the time you're ovulating. Wiping sensation. What do you feel when you wipe with toilet tissue? When you wipe, you wipe every time before and after urination or a bowel movement. Make sure that you wipe from front to back with a flat piece of toilet tissue. As you wipe, make sure the tissue passes over the perineum, the area of skin just below the vagina, because that is where sensation is felt with wiping. You may feel dry or smooth, and these feelings are not fertile. If there is an obvious slippery or runaway feeling when wiping, that is fertile, and you click the appropriate tile. Inspect the tissue and click on the appropriate tile. Record what you see on the tissue. If there is mucus or any discharge, lift it up to test. You will note that the system awaits data entry if you click on mucus because it wants you to document more information. In particular, we want to know if you stretch the mucus between your thumb and index finger, did it reach two centimeters, yes or no? Was it clear, yes or no? Click on the appropriate tile. Now the WIT assessment routine is complete, so the system can document the stamp and the appropriate code and interpret this to tell us this is a fertile day. So in summary, the assessment routine is simply make sure to take note of the vulvar sensation while walking throughout the day. Wipe every time before and after urination or a bowel movement. When you wipe, take note of the sensation, inspect the tissue, and test any mucus for both stretch and color. Do remember to bear down at the end of every day and always check after a bowel movement. And there is more data we can enter through the Neo Fertility app. We are interested in documenting intercourse. The default is set to none, but click the appropriate tile if intercourse was used on any particular day. Medications. You can document which medications were taken and which doses were used. 
if your medication is not listed, you can write that at the bottom of the app simply by scrolling down. Symptoms. If you notice fatigue, headaches, acne, bloating, and so on, you can document whichever symptoms were prominent on that particular day and how severe those symptoms were. This is important data for us to assess. Temperature. It can be useful to document your temperature to confirm that you have truly ovulated. You can use a basal body temperature and manually enter the data that you record from observations taken each morning. Alternatively, you can wear a sensor armband developed by TempDrop and this electronically passes information from the sensor to the NeoFertility app so we can record your temperature more easily. And finally, additional tests. You can document your blood test results, uh, results from ovulation predictor tests, pregnancy tests, ultrasound scans, and other blood test results, and these will be recorded in the app. Remember, it takes at least 21 days to develop any new habit. We have developed the Habit Helper to encourage you to develop the new habit for your assessment and documentation of your fertility signs. This is best achieved with the help of your Neo Fertility Advisor, and it is highly recommended that you learn how to record your cycle with our user manual and teaching sessions with a trained Neo Advisor. They are available through our website at neofertility.ie. More app features. So if you click at the top left of your Neo Fertility app, it opens out a range of options. I would like to focus on settings. So if we click this, it opens out more information for us to look at. We're going to look at account. Within the account, you can change your password, you can change the date format, the way you're recording data, and you can also turn on or off automatic peak day calculations. This is useful for people who have continuous mucus discharge. We could also document what pathway you're following. You may be using this to try to get pregnant. You may be using it for women's health or for family planning. If you're using the system for family planning, I would like you to document, are you using it in a relaxed way, a serious way, or do you have a medically serious reason to avoid pregnancy? Uh, the other data options, allow you to share your chart with us. And if you add the email in this section of the app, then you can share the app with whoever you wish. This is our practice email address. And if you send us this invitation, we'll be able to see all the data you're recording in your chart. Um, you can remove this anytime you wish. You can also share this with your fertility advisor or anybody else you like. Finally, the user portal. This is where the app is really helpful. So on a larger screen, such as a laptop, a, a tablet, or your PC, you go to the neofertilityapp.com website and go to the section of user portal. There you enter your password and email that you're currently using for the Neo Fertility app, and it allows you to see your chart in super size. All of the data that you've been gathering is now easily visible, where you can easily see the, the bleeding days, the dry days, the mucus days, the day of ovulation, and all of the data that you've meticulously recorded throughout the past month. But remember, this system is only as good as the data you provide. The Neo Fertility app and WIT assessment routine make it easier to get reliable data. You can learn WIT in minutes, and remember, the app will pick the stamp, it'll pick the code, and it'll even pick the peak day, which is presumed ovulation for you. It's intuitive and easy to record. The Neo Fertility app, uh, you record what you see or feel when you notice it in real time. This is a significant advance compared to paper charting, which is retrospective recall 
from what was observed earlier in that day and it will by nature be less reliable. So thank you for listening to this presentation. I hope you find it helpful. Bye for now.